The anticipation is mounting here as both sides get set for this matchup between the Denver Broncos and the Atlanta Falcons here at the Georgia Dome. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims. Just prior to kickoff for this primetime extravaganza, and this adds another whole layer of excitement when you have this game under the lights. Yeah, it makes it more exciting for the fans. It builds up their enthusiasm because they're out there uh, tailgating all day, getting ready for the game, but also for the players. They lay around no matter what you do during the day. All you can think about is the game. How's it going to work out for us? So I think we're going to see a lot of excitement because of that. Two of the best in the league at their positions will square off in this game. A top-tier wide receiver, a top-tier cornerback. What gives in this matchup, Phil? You know, when you talk about top-tier cornerback, that's a guy who is not afraid. A lot of these corners in this league now, oh, they got to stay on their one side. they got to be outside because they don't want to be exposed switching sides or playing a receiver in the middle of the field. That's not going to be the case here today. Going to be fun to watch a one-on-one -on -one match. All right, so let's head down to the field now as it looks like kickoff is moments away. Falcons getting ready to kick it off. to take the football out to the 28-yard line. One of the biggest legends the game will ever know, quarterback Peyton Manning. We all know Peyton Manning, six foot six. He can play tall and he can make the throws, but what gets lost is the fact that he can shuffle those feet around and get himself some extra time. Something we've seen from the safety before, ready to pounce on the snap. Now first and ten. Looking at every option. Makes the play. It's a touchdown. This offensive coordinator, he is one aggressive dude, isn't he? What play calls he put out there for the guys. They reward him by taking the opening drive and scoring the touchdown. The Broncos for the point after. Add the extra point, the kick is good. And following the extra point, the Broncos are leading by seven. Ready to step up and send this one down to the end zone. That's a touchback. The ball will be spotted at the 20. Now bouncing onto the field, number two at quarterback, Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan knows how to throw the football in rhythm. In other words, when he drops back and it's time to let it go, he does not hesitate. Good quick release and an accurate thrower. Offense lines up here. The quarterback throws to the right. When you look for a threat on that Atlanta offense, there is Roddy White. Roddy White has gotten better as his career has gone along. He's just refined the skills that you need for, at his position. He's big and strong and fast, but now he's turned into a terrific route runner. That leads us to second down. Here's the give to Michael Turner. And it's Vaughn Miller who takes a stand. Getting that first first down in the game, to me as a quarterback, was a lot like completing that first pass. It just feels good, uh, eases the pressure, puts you in rhythm, and you hope it keeps going from there. They face first down. Back to the running back. Muscles through the defender. 
Looking at the defensive lineups, Vaughn Miller is a man to watch in this one. Vaughn Miller, maybe the fastest first step in the NFL. That makes him a threat when it comes to rushing the quarterback. Running formation here. Offense in the full house set. Second and six. Play fake here. Going across the middle. Fumble. That was just a terrible job by the offensive player that time. Protect the football. No excuse for letting it uh, fumbling the football in a situation like that. Broncos getting set now for their next series. A little dime package here for the defense. First and ten, McGahee. He'll try to navigate through the middle of the line. the offensive line which must protect its quarterback today and today's starting lineups have been brought to you by Papa John's Pizza better ingredients better pizza Papa John's Pizza second down coming up out of the gun looking for an open receiver on the right that picks up seven well it doesn't look like much but it really serves the purpose Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. First down here after the completion. <laughs> Going off tackle here. They deck him in the backfield. The defensive line will be the focus here in this game. If they're disrupting the quarterback, the rest of the defense will have a chance to do their thing. Second down here after that run play. Staying on the ground. Darts to the left. Well, a short gain on the run at time by the offense. When you're a running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running them. Third down here, offense trying to pick up the first. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. Throwing now to his left. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Good job by the receiver, running into that defense, through the zone, finding the open space, and making a nice catch. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Muscles through the defender. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run.
15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. 15 minutes in the books, and now the second quarter is about to commence. Play number six coming up on this drive. Second down, three for the first. Hawks to the outside. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Third down and six. Trying to find an open man. Quarterback looked all over the field. He's trying to find somebody that's open, but there is nobody open. Cover sack that time by the defense and a job well done. This will be from downtown. And converts on the three. Well, this guy's a machine. Every time he gets a chance to go out there and kick a field goal, it is right down the middle. Good job by the offense, good job by the kicker. The Falcons in kick return formation. He's brought down at the 25-yard line. The Falcons come onto the field now for this next series. The defense comes out in the nickel. First and 10. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Second down. They hand it off to him again. Tries to ward off a defender with a stiff arm. Well, what you try to do so many times in the NFL, do the unexpected. The defense is expecting pass all the way. Everybody's running to the quarterback. What do you do? You, you confuse them. You mix them up. You run the draw play. That's why it was an easy run. Now, looking at third down. Ready to go! Surveys. It's Bailey with the pick. Breaks the tackle. I, well, I have to say, that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. They come to the line, and it's first down. Scanning the field. The defense gets the sack. That time I give all the credit on that sack. i got to give it to the secondary. It is truly a coverage sack. 
nowhere to throw the football, so the quarterback keeps holding on to it, and look what happens. The defense gets there. The offensive line gets in position. Can they protect their quarterback? He's brought down at the 46. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed the pass, but it still did not get a first down. Now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. It's third down coming up. We'll run it. Here's the handoff. Good, solid tackle. Short of the first. And now we've got a fourth down situation. They're set to punt it away now. Signaling for fair catch. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. It's first down as they head to the line. The quarterback hands it off on the draw, taking it up the middle. No huddle time. Nickel formation here for the defense. Drop back, shotgun formation. Makes the catch in open space. That's going to be a timeout charge to the offense. This is third down. They'll go shotgun here. Looking to the right side and throwing. Shrugs off the first hit. A timeout charge to the offense.
Here's the first snap after the big play. First down and 10. He's looking. That ball is picked off. He's into the open. Touchdown. What an interception by the defense. And not only that, look at that return. They intercept the ball on one side of the field, make a long interception return for a touchdown. That's how you win football games on the defensive side. The Broncos for the point after. The point after is good. Broncos ready to boot it down the field. He'll kneel here. No reason to try his luck on the return. So the offense off the touchback will begin at the 20. Falcons ready to take over the football. First down on the way. Ready to go. Quarterback drops back. Has the reception all alone. Nice job by the quarterback. Finding the open guy short. They get the completion. They still do not get the first down there. The formation here, shotgun. And he wants to throw it across the middle. So that's it for the second quarter. Halftime is coming up. We'll have a little first half analysis as we continue on EA Sports after this.